I ordered an electric mandolin off of QVC. I paid about $54.98 for it. Um, I tried to see if I can find any reviews. I wasn't able to locate one, so I figured I'd do one myself. So this is the unboxing. Comes, it's by Cook Essentials. Here's a little pamphlet it comes in. I went with red because it matched my KitchenAid mixer. So there's just some user guide instructions, a couple recipes, warranty info. All that good stuff. Comes with a little toothbrush cleaner. It's a pretty good size. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, it's a pretty good size. Okay, so this is the electric mandolin in the red. So one of the first features, as you noticed, is it has suction cups down at the bottom. So that way it doesn't slide off the counter, so it's pretty nice. Push that down. It's made out of plastic, but it's pretty durable, it seems like. Here's one of our blades. It's another thing, it's a little adjuster. Here's the cleaner for the dye sink. And it has this little safety remove lid. On a little pamphlet thing. Okay. So here's the lid. Looks like it's a little dirty from the packaging, so I'm gonna have to clean that. So as you see, it comes with this. Just it's supposed to be pretty easy to use. It just has that one on button as you put everything in. That's kind of a lock feature. strong there. Here's the feeder that you feed food into, so it's pretty good size. Wish it was a little larger, but I guess we'll see. I have a cucumber that I'm going to be demonstrating with, so it looks like it'll fit in pretty well. Okay, what else do we have here? So one of the nice things that I kind of liked about this is that it had a container that you can put all the fruit, food in, anything that you dye, so you can kind of house everything in there. It's a little smaller than I expected, but you know, it's 55 bucks, so it's still a pretty good deal. So here's the container. And then you have your different blades here. This is the dicing blade, the shredding blade, like cheese and stuff. And then here are your two other cutting blades. Pretty impressed with the quality. Seems pretty sturdy. Not bad for 50, 50 bucks. So a couple reviews that I read, some people complained about the assembly of it. So let's check that out. So I'm gonna go ahead and, there's the cord size. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that plugged in about this it's supposed to have a, a safety feature so you can't cut yourself or anything like that if the lid's not properly placed if this is not properly suctioned underneath the machine it can't it won't start pretty much so first I want to start with my cucumber so I'm gonna grab my blade I'm gonna put all the other ones to the side and one of the nice things too when it comes to your slicing 
um, it's supposed to be adjustable so I guess we'll go ahead and check that out and see what the thin slices look like and what the thicker ones slice like so so you it comes with this little blade assembly guide about the inserting the removing and then it shows the different discs that you pretty much have here the nice thing is they're color coded so you could kind of decipher between them you have the extra thick slice the shred the cube the julienne the fine julienne the thin slice and the thick slice so let's go ahead and try this out In one second I'm gonna go back and get this stuff washed up and then we can start so another thing that I just noticed that I wanted to point out is they have numbering here so that way you know which tool to combine with the other in order to get the certain cutting that you're looking for so for example if I want to do the thin slice there's the E1 I don't know if you can see that right here camera's focusing there you go and then there's the E1C and if you look on the guide it tells you exactly right here what it's going to give you so now the only thing is on the QVC commercial it didn't show them setting it up it was all preset so I guess that's kind of where the confusingness comes from but the nice thing about it that it advertised is that the cleanup everything goes in here so you can simply detach this uh, throw it in the washer and then just retouch it back on when you're ready to use it so here is my slicer I'm guessing this slides in and that's right and then I'm going to take my lid and I'm going to put that on it's supposed to click if you heard that click and I'm going to take my container this is the side that I'm guessing it's going in because it has that grass for you we're going to slide that. That's pretty easy. Slide all the way in. Now well, let me try to start it first to see. Okay, well, I guess some people had a problem with the setting it up, but I thought it was pretty easy. So I'm going to start with my cucumber. So this is on thin slice, so I'm going to do thick and thin so we can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. Push down on it too hard. So let me move this and put it to the side. Yeah, so I, it's pretty impressive. It's easy to set up. And here's the thin. It's a good size. I don't know if you can see the thickness on that. And let's push that back down. I'm gonna go ahead and. Now the only thing is it's a little. I gotta get a little force when you take it off the lid. I'm gonna remove my disc. Now I need to change this out. And there's a little bit of leftover cucumber already still in there. So I'm not quite exactly sure how this comes out. So give me a second. I don't wanna cut myself. I wanna read the instructions and see. So, so okay, so I'm back. So in order to switch out the little adapter here what you're going to do is just gently push push the little disc up like that you see it kind of separating and pull out there we go i'm going to take my e1 slash d disc <laughs> sorry there you go i'm going to insert that in now the insert of it, there we go. You have to give it a little force. Let's 
slide that in right there. Okay. I'm gonna put this back in. Now, as you see right here, it's got these little little bead things right here. And when you push it down and you put it on, there's a little thing and you slide it in. That's how you know it locks. And this has kind of, let me unsuction this out. It's got these little grooves underneath here. So it, it's pretty it's pretty easy to actually assemble. You just slide it in and push and it goes. So that's how you kind of know it'll slide in there by itself pretty easy. So secure that back down. And take my cucumber and let's start. Check out those thick stuff. Okay, so little malfunction there. Got caught. That could probably be because of improper placement. Who knows? Yeah, it is. It's because it wasn't inserted in here. So let me show you something first. So that way you can prevent that. Now, it's got this little tooth thingy here on the each of each cutting board and if you look inside you see this right here that's where that little tooth thing goes in so it goes in like that that's how make sure that's in there properly so that way you don't get that issue let's get back down let's lock it in okay let's try this again Okay, so as you notice, it's not starting, so that means something's not in there securely. So, make sure my lid's on. Okay, so something's not in here right, because, there we go. What's this container down here? Okay. Let's take this off too and see if there's any excess food and it's got pretty much a, there's nothing left in there. In here, this console either. And the nice thing is some, if something's left in there, just slide it into that little part right there. So let's take this out. So this is the thick slice. And here are the thin ones that I did earlier. So you can kind of get an idea of the the thickness that you're going to be looking at depending on which one you're going with now this is still pretty good this is still good size when it comes to thinness and thickness so now I'm doing mine for salad so I'm going to switch it back over to the thin I just wanted to kind of give you an idea so I'm just going to lift this up like we showed earlier pull that out and put my thin disc back in Make sure I lock it into the right spot. Make sure my container's on right. My lid's on right. That way it starts. Awesome. So let's finish this. And as you notice, my hand's in there pretty deep now, so... That's where this comes in handy. You don't want to hurt yourself. It's got this little this little teeth here. So make sure you push down and awesome. Let's take that off. And the only thing I have left here is the end of the cucumber. So at least you know by using this, it's not going to waste, you know, your food while you're trying to get it cut. And the nice thing about it is, look how clean this is. Look how good and precise these cuts are. So if you're trying to, you know, cut food for presentation or you know you want to make your meal look fancy at least you know that this is going to get that job done for you so I'm going to put that in now the next thing I wanted to try out is the dicer now the only thing is that it didn't um, 
show you cutting tomatoes, which I was interested in to see because you know toma tomatoes are, they're wet. As you can see, they're a soft, wet food. So I kind of wanted to see how, how that would work.